let's get back to our Kevin and Kyle. They are live for us in Denver. You know, guys, game one was a nail biter with the Lightning. They came back in the second period, a scoreless battle throughout the third. Question for you, what are some of the reasons the reasons the Bolts could be more dangerous tonight than they were during that first game? Head coach John Cooper was just on the podium a few minutes ago, and he said he wants a better first 10 minutes uh, from his team. Goaltender Andre Vasilevsky was in a shooting gallery and will be for the rest of the series. Also, the Lightning were 0 for 3 on the power play, and Colorado had 17 takeaways, so not turning over the puck I think will be key. And if they don't dig themselves into an early 2-0 or 3-1 hole, I think that will be aces uh, going into game two. And another reason why, as you mentioned, the big cat Andre Vasilevsky is considered the best goalie in the world. That's why it's so shocking how poorly he's played in game ones. Take a look at the numbers. In game ones this postseason, Vazzy has a record of one in three, giving up nearly four goals per game. But in games two through seven, Vazzy is back to being that brick wall we all know and love. 11 and three win-loss record while allowing fewer than two goals per game. Avs head coach Jared Bednar also is aware of those numbers. If he's going to be better, we need more volume to him and we need more traffic to him. We've got to be able to create the shots that we want. And that's where Tampa's been really good. They've gotten better in, every, in the game last game and they've been getting stronger and stronger in every series that they've played. So we can expect that. It's not going to be a surprise to us. We expect ourselves to be getting better as the series moves along as well. In the game one overtime loss, Vasilevsky allowed three first period goals for the first time in his playoff career. Career. Like in our game ones in this playoff, I, I would not sit here and say we've put our best foot forward as a team, not Vasilevsky. The chances we've given up, the areas we've given them up, uh, it's not ideal. I don't, it doesn't matter who you put in the net. Um, NHL players and star NHL players are going to score from those areas. For the Bolts, a playoff loss likely leads to a win in the next game. Vasilevsky has led the Lightning to an 18-1 record over the last three postseasons following a loss. You know, his record speaks for itself, but, you know, we... Uh I mean, it's a team game, obviously, but having him back there obviously gives us a lot of confidence. It's going to give us a chance every night. Now the good news for Vasilevsky, the Lightning. There are no more Game 1s until <laughs> next season. Yeah. I spoke with uh, former Bolts backup goaltender Curtis McElhenney a couple of days ago, and he said he has that it factor when the other team skates on the ice. They're like, oh, no, Vasilevsky. And they might come back, as you just showed us, uh, in Game 2. Vanessa, we shall see tonight. Puck drops just after 8 o'clock at Ball Arena here in Denver. Back to you in our lovely studio in Tampa. All right. Thank you guys so much. You know, we'll be sure to keep an eye on the Big Cat's performance tonight and ahead on the quest for the Cup, how the hype surrounding the series as people spend in some cash to be part of all of the excitement. Something more. And welcome back to Quest for the Cup. It's time to crash the boards, Stanley Cup final style, bring up a topic, yep. write the answer on our whiteboards, and discuss. All right, question one. Yes, yeah, stay with me here, Kevin. Okay. Andre Vasilevsky has given up less than two goals per game during these playoffs in games two through seven. He's not very good in games one. How many goals will he give up tonight? Over under two and a half. And we didn't even, didn't even now plan this. Uh, I say over, and it doesn't mean that he's not going to play well himself and that the Lightning can't win. It's just Colorado, Av Colorado Avalanche are probably the best team and the most high, the most talented offensive team they've played in the last three postseasons. Yeah, they have a star-studded roster. In this entire playoffs, they've only been held two goals or less only twice. Yeah. The entire playoff. So, yeah, it's not going to happen. Uh, Andre Vasilevsky, he'll be good. He'll, he'll come up big when he needs to come up big. But yeah. they're, they're still going to get their goals. They're going to get there. All right, so second topic. Two of the stars in this game, Braden Point and Kale McCarr for the Avalanche, were pretty quiet in game one. They were held shotless. <laughs> Point did have an assist. So how many points will Point and McCarr have tonight in game two? Flip flop, yeah. Okay. I think po uh, point. 
I think he's going to do a lot early. Maybe I think he's been he's wanted to get back so bad since not playing in game seven against Toronto game one. You know, a little slow out of the gate because he hadn't played in a month. And I think he's going to try to get a lot of his uh, game going early. And Makar, you can't keep great players like that down for, for a whole series or even multiple games. Yeah, I like another assist for points tonight. I like a goal and assist for Makar. And he's uh, one of the front runners for the Con Smite yeah. this year. And he leaves the team with 22 points in 15 games. Big night for both these guys. Okay. All right, last topic. Over under, Vegas has six and a half goals tonight. What do we say for goals and who wins tonight? And this was not a plan. We did not uh, face Graham or insta book each other anything uh, this morning. Um, I, this is going to be a shootout, OK Corral style. I think the Lightning can bounce back. I, dropping in an 0-2 hole, two series in a row, I think just for this team, especially the way they've played the last couple postseasons, is unthinkable. I think they win 5-3. I said before game one, I like a split for the Lightning going back to Tampa. So 5-3, Bolts win tonight. I'll take the over with eight. Absolutely. That'll do for uh, Crash the Boards. Request for the Cup when we come back.